Tuesday, May 26th was senior night for the Hopkinton Hillers softball team as they welcomed in the Holliston Panthers. 8-0 Hillers, bottom of the fourth, bases loaded, and it was rally time. This is loaded, one out for Kate Wellzell. And this is on the ground, third base side. That'll get through, and one run is around to score. A second run being waved around. The third run runner will be stopped at third base, but two more Hillers run score. Kerr to the set. On the ground, up the middle, that'll get through. One run is in the score. Hillers right now up 11 to one. Kerr delivers, this is hit in the air. High fly ball over towards center, blowing in, and it got past the glove of Ledger. And one run is in the score. Bogan advances to second. Another gem by Juliet Hume as the Hillers take down Holliston, 13 to one. Hume gave up no earned runs and had seven strikeouts. Kate Wellzell had quite the day at the plate, going three for three with two RBIs and three runs. Renee Cooprider also pitched in with a trifecta of runs and an RBI. A couple days later on Thursday the 28th, it was time for Baker Bowl Part 2. Dennis Baker Sr. and the Bellingham Blackhawks taking on Dennis Baker Jr. and the Hopkinton Hillers. Close game last time, and it was a close game this time. Julianne Kilduff started things off nicely for Bellingham in the first. Line up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air to center field. Engstrom towards the fence, and that's gone. Julianne Kilduff going yard. The first home run given up by Juliet Hume all season. One to nothing, Bellingham. After that, Juliet Hume settled down. Hume delivers. Here's strike three. Hume deals. There's strike three. Deep. Of course, home games absolutely crucial in playoffs as there's strike three. Juliet Hume faces four batters, and all three outs came via a strikeout here. Bottom of the bats. third, the Hillers bats came alive. One of the windiest games we've had here. And this is pushed up the left side. That drops in for a hit. Whittle's going to third. The left fielder having trouble. She's going to be waved around, and it's a tie game. Lizzie Kelly, an RBI double. First with five. First in slugging percentage at a 915. Kelly delivers. And this is a liner. That'll drop in a right field as Kelly is going to route third, being waved home, and she will slide in with the Hillers. Second run of the game, an RBI single for Kayla Sullivan. Hillers added one more in the sixth. Sign and deals, and this is pushed into right field. That'll drop in for a hit. Holden being waved around, coming to the plate. The throw not in time. It's three to one Hillers. Three to one Hopkinton. Bellingham down to their final three outs as the Hopkinton Hillers just three outs away from having an undefeated season in the TVL so far. To the set. Strike three, one away. Dare strike three, two away. Strike three. Juliet Hume gets all three outs in the seventh via strikeout. And the Hopkinton Hillers go undefeated in the TVL. 18 and 0 in the TVL, 19 and 1 overall to conclude the season. The Hopkinton Hillers, for the first time in recent history, finish undefeated in the TVL as they pulled off the 3 to 1 victory. Hume pitched the complete game, striking out 14. Kayla Sullivan went 2 for 3 with an RBI. The Hillers finished the season 19 and 1 and 18 and 0 in the TVL. It's playoff time. How does it feel to be undefeated in the TVL this season? Um, it feels awesome. My team worked really hard, and we had an awesome season all around, top to bottom, and I think we deserved it. Um, to us, well, we won the, the league at the last game, so like to us, this game like meant nothing in that aspect, but it meant so much to us because like we were going undefeated, and we know Baker always loves to beat his dad. It's just something that he enjoys doing because he's always grown up, and his dad's he always talks about how his dad gives him no mercy. So it's something we like to do for him, and we had a lot of confidence going into today's game. I went great. I mean, letting up a home run in the first inning was definitely 
the most nerve-wracking part, but uh, if I didn't let up home runs, I had complete confidence in my defense, and I had complete confidence that if I tired out or got hurt, that the second pitcher, Bream Robley, would come in and do just as good a job as I could. And you haven't given up a run since the last time you played Bellingham, so certainly uh, the home run in the, in the first was, I think, a shock to really everybody, but <laughs> can you just talk about the season overall and how it feels to be undefeated in the TVL? Oh, it feels so great. I can't even describe it. We had such a great season. We were just improving the entire time. We're such a close team. We all like each other, and I think that's a big part of this. I remember the last time we talked, you said that you're going to try to go undefeated in the TVL and you really think you could do it. Well, you certainly have proven to everybody that you were right. <laughs> and are you excited for these playoff brackets to uh, come out? You're going to get a couple home games. What are you looking to do in the playoffs this season? I'm excited for the playoffs because I know it's going to be even tougher competition. So we'll have to play even harder. I'm looking to make a run in the tournament, maybe the state. <laughs> Absolutely. Now 14 strikeouts against a tough Bellingham lineup today. And you make it look easier than it really is, but can you talk about how tough it is to face this lineup? It is really tough. They're such good hitters. I mean, they can hit any pitch that I throw, so it's always nerve-wracking. I always really have to think about where to put the ball, never right down the middle. All right, I'm here with head coach of the Hockington Hillers softball team, Dennis Baker Jr. Coach, you guys are undefeated in the TVL. How does it feel? It feels great. I'm so proud of the girls, the effort they you know, not only today, but all year. I'm so confident in this group of girls. And we knew we had a special team coming into the year. Um, you saw us last year, how good we were. A lot of returning players. But uh, you can never count on going undefeated. You know, it, it's Especially just, in this division. Yeah, it's a tough league. It's a tough division. So you know, Bellingham, Norton, Medfield's a good team. So uh, it, it's something that I haven't seen happen in a while. Bellingham was state champions last year. They didn't make it through the Tri-Valley League undefeated. So it's an unbelievable accomplishment and it's really, it's a once in a lifetime thing. I've been coaching for 15 years in this league and I've never been a part of a league that's even had an undefeated team before. So for the girls to do that, uh, I'm just so proud of them and I'm so happy for them. Now we have to go back in the archives, but this could be the first time in TVL history. We're not quite sure on that. That's something we're going to research. Uh, but this is a, a rare accomplishment. It's something that you mentioned that your dad hasn't even done. He's won the state championship, but hasn't done this. So is there going to be a little uh, bragging going on? Well, I, I, I think a little bit. I can't help but be proud of what we did. And I, I think, you know, although he's probably disappointed today, he would have liked to have spoiled it. I'm sure he's proud of what we have done. But, um, you know, it really is. It's almost like a state championship in a way. It's something that happens so rarely. So, um I'm going to have to brag a little bit about it, I think. But I'm going to give all the credit to the girls, of course. Oh, absolutely. Now, Juliet Hume gave up a home run in the first inning. It was one of the most rarest things you'll ever see. When that happened, what, what were you thinking there? Well, it was, it was a shock. Uh, we've rarely seen a hard hit ball against Juliet this year, never mind the number two batter taking her deep. And I'd be lying if I didn't say in the back of my head, oh, is today the day that maybe she just doesn't have it or maybe winning the league the other day we all kind of exhale and let down a little bit so I had that a little bit in my head um, just in the back the very very back um, but she I, I think it kind of woke her up a little bit I, th I think it did uh, I think after that the second she got stronger as the game went on today second third inning that same girl had a rocket single maybe again in the third and I think that was pretty much it for them for the day um, she really focused after that and pitched a tremendous ball game. So, um, you know, it, it was one of those things that I think she used it to her advantage today, giving up a home run early to kind of refocus her. Yeah, it was only a two hits she gave up, and she does seem to get stronger a lot as the game's going on, maybe struggle a little bit in the early innings, throw more balls than that, but get better as the game uh, went on. But then she had 14 strikeouts. Can you just talk about her performance all season long? Uh, certainly has to be one of the most dominant pitchers that you've seen really maybe even in the state in a while. Uh, sh she's been the best pitcher I've seen. Uh, and I remember having an interview with you. We talked over on Fruit Street on a cold rain, you know, a cold day with three feet of snow surrounding us. And, and I said that she was capable of doing some special things. I don't know if we expected that it would be this special, but I mean, her stats are just mind blowing. Uh, this is only the second earned run she's given up in I think 70 innings this year. Um, she averages maybe one hit every three or four innings. Uh, her control has been great. Even though she works deep into a lot of counts, 
she doesn't walk a lot of hitters. Um, so so she's, she's pitching some pressure situations too with runners on, runners in scoring position late in the game. And she just has this focus about her. This I, I feel better when I look out on the mound and I see the focus in her eyes. Um, it calms me down a little bit, so I'm really happy that she's able to do that. And she's had this coming for a long time. She's been a great pitcher, and not a lot of people have realized how good she is. So for her to do this her senior year, um, I'm so proud and I'm so happy for her. Well, you must be anxious for the playoff seedings to come out. Any idea where you'll be? Obviously, you'll be at home, but against... I, I don't know yet. I believe we're going to be a number one or a number two seed at 19-1. and one. It, It's a very strong bracket, Division One South. It's the best softball in the state. There's 10 teams, us included. I think any one of the 10 teams could win a South sectional. And, um, you know, it's going to be a great challenge, but we're really looking forward to it. I think we got a lot of experience last year um, from making a deep state tournament run, and I think we're going to rely on that experience. Uh, we are going to enjoy this for a little while. The Absolutely. seedings come out Monday, so let's, I said, we'll enjoy it tomorrow, maybe give ourselves the weekend, and then once we find out where we're going to play or who we're going to play on Monday, we'll kind of refocus and put this behind us. Well, you guys certainly deserve to have a little bit of enjoyment. What a tremendous season. Congratulations uh, to you and the team, and we hope that there are many more playoff games to come. Thank you very much.